Kingdom. Focus. Greetings, Kingdom Fellowship. This is Reverend Erica. And Reverend Russ. Excited once again to share with you during our Advent season. We are continuing in that series, and today we find ourselves talking about the Advent principle of love. Amen. And so for that, we find ourselves in the Gospels, the Gospel according to Mark. We're going to take a look at Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 31. Very, very familiar passage of scripture. If you've been to any AME service anywhere in the entire <laughs> world, you have heard this time and time again. And so let's go there together again. Mark chapter 12, verses 28 through 31. It reads this way. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. I told you these were very familiar passages of scripture, and certainly it is. And so as we think about this season of Advent and we think about the coming of Christ and we think about what it means to expect him and to anticipate God coming, we also have to consider that God came out of love. God sent his only begotten son so that you and I could experience the fullness, the vastness, the depth, the breadth, and the width of his love for us. But then the goal and the benefit of faith and salvation is not just for us to be hoarders of God's love, mm -hmm. but to share God's love, right? So it talks about loving the Lord our God first. That's the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. We should love our neighbor as ourselves. And so God pours his love on us through salvation and through all of the ways he demonstrates his love for us day in and day out through relationships with family and friends, colleagues and co-workers, people who just look out for us for no good reason except that God assigned them to. Mm -hmm. And then this opportunity for us, having received the fullness of God's love, it is an opportunity for us to be intentional in our efforts to demonstrate that love to others. Sometimes it is kindness to a stranger. Sometimes it is looking out for a neighbor. Sometimes it is looking out for a family member who cannot do things on their own or who is needing something from us. Mm -hmm. This opportunity to not just love in words a lot of people say i love you but word love is an actual action right jesus came to die that's an action jesus didn't just sit in heaven and say god i love those people down there and i wish they'd have right relationship god said you know what i'm gonna need to do something to demonstrate the depth the breadth and the fullness of my love and so i'm going to send my son and so i encourage you in this advent season to continue to be prayerful about not just how you experience and receive god's love but about how god might use you yes in your zoom meetings <laughs> on your online spaces with your children while they're learning virtually however god is going to use this time that we're spending in this season i encourage you to be prayerful that there'll be opportunities for you to demonstrate god's love because that is what this advent season is about it's not about gifts under the tree it's not about the beautiful lights that we see but it is really about this opportunity to experience and to share to even demonstrate what it is to love and to love well in light of christ yeah i think that that's great i really don't have anything to add except to say let love god's love move you Mm -hmm. It should move you, as Reverend Erica so uh, uh, correctly uh, articulated that uh, it's a movement piece. Mm -hmm. It's an action piece. And so the prayer is yeah. uh, that God's love will move you today because uh, Lord knows God's mm -hmm. love is why we're here. Yes. Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Good and loving God, we thank you for your love that surpasses our ability to understand or comprehend or even explain to somebody else. When we think about what love is, we think about how big it is and how active it is. And so we thank you for your love for us. And we ask that you would pour that love into us yes. and remind us and provide us with opportunities to pour that love onto others. Yes. That we would shower your love through our words, through our actions, through the things we do, the things we say, even the looks we give. God, that we would be intentional to be conduits of your love, that somebody who does not know you would come to Christ. Scripture tells us that they will know us by our love. Yeah. And so, God, we pray that you would use us as instruments of your love, instruments of your peace, instruments of your light and your joy, not just in this season of Advent, but always. This is our prayer, and we make it by faith as we thank you for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 
God bless you all. Thank you for getting on uh, again today. And don't forget to uh, look at all of the other resources on our website uh, and on our app and invite somebody uh, to be with you. And until we see you uh, next week, which we start a new year together, uh, Lord willing, uh, we know that things will be uh, better. Uh, but until then, let's move forward as we remain kingdom focused. Amen.